Hi folks, at the bus stop again to display my Lexan PVC weight shifter lures. Uh, I've done some outdoor videos of the blanks already back in summer. Now I finally got done with painting and top coating. So here's one in the perch pattern. Uh, also I painted these uh, by hand brushing with acrylic paint. On this one the weight shift pretty nice. Not binding. Alright. Here's one I've painted in a rainbow trout pattern. Also the weights roll up and down but sometimes they do bind. The uh, bore or, uh, turn out a little bit tight for the 7mm lead balls inside. Um, I like working with these uh, acrylic paints. I prefer them over the uh, model making animals I've been using for years. But still I have to learn a lot about the painting processes. Here's another small minnow lure painted in a dark and natural color. Also the weight shift very nice here. But in the outdoor test I found that uh, the casting performance is not as good as I had expected. But uh, I like experimenting with different variations of lures. I uh, prefer that rather more than doing top notch paint jobs. That's not my preference. Actually probably I'm not able to. I rather prefer tinkering with different designs. Here's a very small one, as I said, Lexan core that accommodates the shifting weights and the uh, wire eyes covered up with a uh, body of very buoyant uh, PVC hard foam. I guess this little dude here uh, turns out to be sinking. It has three balls inside 7mm lead. Okay, here's the last one, you see. With this one there are severe problems of the weight doesn't roll nicely. Yeah, you see they bind again. Uh, but in my outdoor tests I found it doesn't really matter whether they roll to the front or remain in the back. If they remain in the back when you start the retrieve, uh, it will just decrease the diving depth a little bit. So, uh, in terms of the lure swimming well, it's not an issue. Um, I guess I will not do more of this design because it turned out to be more elaborate than doing the simple timber weight shifter lures. Again here, this one has a self-centering line tie. Also want to test this thing in the oncoming season, whether it really uh, lets the lures track through or not. Okay, I'm gonna do a swim test now. I'll be back. Okay, now let's swim these lures. Uh, you see the remaining buoyancy is very small actually. This is the deep diver that has problems with the weights rolling properly. But the action is nice. Okay, not that 100% nice, but it's tipping the nose a bit. Have to see in the outdoors. Alright. Um, it's not to be avoided that one has uh, lures that don't work properly amongst one batch. That's uh, natural. Now the small one. Um, guess you can see it now that the weights are on the nose. It's floating up uh, head down. This would now the weights are sitting in the back. This is how it would uh, float up just after impact after the cast and. Uh, once you start the retrieve, 
it showed yeah the weight should slide into the nose uh, improving the diving performance yeah this one doesn't swim nice but yet doesn't blow out now oh, too bad I guess I will decrease the uh, lip size oh that's not a good action yeah it gets to turn around the own axis a pity uh, because the balls of this lure are sliding properly and the action is not good probably I can bend the toe eye a little bit upward but would be hardly possible because it's glued inside of the Lexan core I'll try uh, to reduce the lip size. Oh, I just saw that. Oh, it rolls too much. Not good. Have to decrease the lip size. Okay, Murphy's law. Here's the uh, minnow lure. You see, it also floats up. Uh, tail down yeah this one swims nice requires toe eye tuning as it lays on one side as I can see okay now you see it it's now it's floating up uh, nose down after the weights have slid into the front now then the back and uh, now then the front oh that's a nice lure I like this one okay now the big rainbow trout that one also has problems of the weight sliding now then the front yeah they do not slide properly, no, they do bind. Uh, but the action is okay either way, it doesn't matter. What I've learned now from all of making all of these weight shifting lures is that one has to be extremely careful to make the uh, ball, where the lead ball slide up and down big enough that no binding of the balls would occur oh this lure is fine just fine having an appeal for pipe i suppose that's nice even though the ball the sliding balls do not function pretty well okay now the last one is the little perch how the weights are in the tail you see it floating up tail down action is also very nice pulls to one side requires two wide tuning Now it swims level. I suppose not all balls have slid right down to the nose. Yeah, that's the problem about the balls as well. Okay. I don't think I will do more of this Lexan and PVC uh, compound lures. I just love experimenting with different styles and designs. Thanks a lot for watching folks. Uh, goodbye.